on this edition of the HDTV Morning Announcements. Some signing and dining. As well as some going to the musical and something that rhymes with going to the musical. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mo, and I am loving Joker and Smash so far. And I'm your guest host, Skylar. For lunch today, we will be having on lines 1 and 2, cheeseburger and fries. On line 3, potato soup and salad. On line 4, oven-baked chicken and assorted pizza. And as usual, line 5 will be closed. And, and happy, happy birthday goes out to Aubrey Smith. Now to sports with Nick. Thanks, Mo. The varsity baseball team lost to Crawfordville Saturday by a score of 3-1. to one. Christian Lopez pitched well despite taking the loss while Jose Valdez Sandoval led the offense with an RBI double. A good luck goes out to the varsity girls tennis team as they will be traveling to Western Boone with the match beginning at 5 o'clock. The JV baseball team who will be hosting West Lafayette at 5.30 and last but not least the varsity softball team who will be hosting Rossville also at 5.30. That's it for sports. Back on over to you Skyler. Seniors, if you paid for your cap and gown, please stop by the front office to pick it up. Also, please fill out the Google form sent by Ms. McDonald to nominate yourself for your classmates for prom king and queen. This Google form will be closed on Friday, April 26th. The Frankfurt Lions Club will be hosting an all-you-can-eat fish dinner on Thursday at the 4-H building at the fairgrounds. Adult admissions is $10. Children 5 to 12 get in for $5 and those 4 and under get in for free. If you've somehow gone oblivious to the fact that there's a musical this week, then hi, there's a musical this week. With that out of the way, make sure to check out Leap of Faith. Opening night is Wednesday, with two more nights on Friday and Saturday. With more on what to expect at the show, here's Mr. Taylor. Follows the story of, of Jonas, Jonas Nightingale who is a traveling televangelist. Uh, he travels with the, him and his choir on this Baptist revival. They go from town to town, basically conning people using people's own faith. I always enjoy watching the audience and seeing how they respond to a show. This show is really put in the audience's lap. So I'm really interested to see how they take that. Um, you know, we make the audience a part of the show. Thanks, Mr. Taylor. Again, go see Leap of Faith. It's going to be fun for the whole family. Call out for the Frankfurt Swim Club will be tomorrow and Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. It'll be open swim, so you'd better bring a suit. Now, we haven't spat this one out in a few days, so... <clears throat> Early summer school runs until the 29th, 3 to 6 every day. Well, that's going to do it for today's announcements. Skylar, since this is your first day, do you have anything to throw at the end? As a matter of fact, I do. Anyone interesting in joining marching band this year, please do yourself and do a favor and just do it. It's a lot of fun and a great way to make new friends. And as some of you know, don't be like me. Well, okay then. As for me, in lieu of Dallas's absence, I think that he would want some form of quote at the end. Seeing as I didn't get to say my full one last week and I find it to be a pretty good one, I'm going to try again. Stay on the prompt this time, boys. <clears throat> Every world has its end. I know that's kind of sad, but that's why we gotta live life to the fullest in the time we have. At least, that's what I figure. And as you may remember, this quote stems from Sonic and the Black Knight. Have a good day, check yourself for the background. <laughs>